Welcome to The Honest Channel, I'm Claire Johnston, a journalist on a mission to learn how to age well, look and feel good for longer and share that honestly with you. And considering 2023 has been the year that artificial intelligence really captured our attention, I thought I might put it to some good use. Personally, I'm hoping it doesn't put me out of a career in a few years, uh-oh. But for now, I've decided to befriend it. And this week, I gave it a little job to do. So I asked Google's very own Bard AI service to rank for me the top 10 most popular skincare products of this year. And I have to say, it came back with some really interesting results. That's because it's come up with a list that's based not only on sales, but also on customer ratings, expert reviews, beauty awards, and positive buzz on consumer forums. That means it's top 10 products, which I'm about to run through, are all well worth paying attention to. So let me reveal for you now the most popular skincare products of 2023 as ranked by AI. So before I count down the selections from 10 to 1, let me just show you the criteria AI used to base its rankings on. AI evaluated the most popular skincare products of 2023 based on a combination of these factors. Firstly, overall popularity. So it considered the global sales figures and customer reviews for each product to gauge its overall popularity among consumers, which is what I'd asked it to do. But Two, it also added in expert endorsements. So it also factored in the views of dermatologists and skincare experts to gather their recommendations and insights on the effectiveness and suitability of each product. Thirdly, it looked at critical acclaim. AI analyzed beauty awards and industry reviews to identify products that have consistently received positive feedback from experts and reviewers. Fourthly, it looked at product innovation and efficacy. It assessed the unique ingredients, formulations, and benefits offered by each product to determine their potential to address specific skincare concerns and deliver noticeable results. Fifthly, it looked at sustainability practices and considered the brand's commitment to sustainable packaging and ethical sourcing of ingredients to support eco-conscious consumerism. At six, it looked at influencer buzz and consumer feedback. AI evaluated the social media presence of each product, including influencer endorsements and user reviews, to gauge the overall sentiment and appeal among the beauty community. Now, I was genuinely impressed by the additional criteria AI added to my instructions and the lengths it went to to discover the most popular skincare products of the year. But here's a note of caution. Some of the sales figures AI quoted, which it sourced from reputable sites like Statista and Euromonitor International, did appear to be on the high side and in some cases looked like it might have been the total sales for the brand or a particular range within that brand rather than the individual products. So I haven't quoted them in this video for that reason. And while if you asked another AI tool for its list of the most popular skincare products of 2023, it would probably come up with at least a few different items. What we can say is that the ones featured today are all big sellers of the moment and the products listed here are being bought rated and talked about in big numbers. So let's start with a product ranked at number 10 on AI's list. And it's Drunk Elephant's TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum, priced at $90 or around 78 pounds for 30 milliliters. Quite a lot for a glycolic acid product, but folks seem to be snapping it up. Now, a spoiler alert, it's not the only time glycolic acid appears on this list, which doesn't surprise me because it's a terrific multifunctional skincare ingredient and one that I used myself for some time until I switched to retinoids. Now, I know some of you successfully use both. My skin's a little sensitive, so I had to make my choice between them. But glycolic acid is primarily an acid exfoliant. And in my view, it is the least irritating of the acid exfoliants. And a lot of people use it either instead of or alongside a retinoid because it's especially helpful for skin clearing and reducing pore size. And it has anti-aging benefits too, including a reduction in fine lines and wrinkles. My AI friend had this to say about the Drunk Elephant Serum. Thank you, Claire. Well, here we go. According to AI at number 10, 
This potent serum contains a high concentration of glycolic acid to exfoliate and brighten the skin. It also contains lactic acid, another type of AHA, to help with uneven textures and hyperpigmentation. It is formulated with antioxidants to protect the skin from environmental damage. It is suitable for all skin types, including normal, oily, and mature skin. It has a 4.3 star rating on Sephora with nearly 3,500 reviews and 4.5 stars on Amazon and it's popular among beauty influencers for its ability to target blemishes and refine skin texture and it's also highly recommended by dermatologists. Let's move on now and don't worry about noting down any products you think look interesting because I'll list and link to them in the description below where it says show more. So at number nine, it's a brand I'm less familiar with, but which is clearly making its mark, and that's Youth to the People, ranked in this list for its superfood antioxidant cleanser. So the company describes itself as a professional grade vegan skincare range with unconventional superfood ingredients. Of the Youth to the People superfood antioxidant cleanser, which is priced at $39 or £38, AI says, This gentle cleanser is made with a blend of superfood extracts, including kale, spinach, and avocado, to cleanse and nourish the skin without stripping away its natural moisture. It is formulated with antioxidants to protect the skin from environmental damage. It is suitable for all skin types, including sensitive skin. It has a 4.2 star rating on Sephora with over 6,000 reviews and a 4.7 star on Amazon with 6,400 reviews and 10,000 bottles sold on Amazon alone in the last month. The brand is committed to using sustainable refillable packaging and ingredients and is ranked as one of the best gentle cleansers on Reddit's skincare subreddit. At eight, it's... Well, it's a squalane-based product from Biosense, but this is where AI actually let me down again because it's named the product at eight as Biosense's squalene and peptide gel moisturizer, which doesn't actually exist. So it seems to be a hybrid of similarly named products that it's kind of got muddled. But I've tried to trace this back several steps to find the most highly rated Biosense product that closely matched its criteria. And you've got the squalane and probiotic gel moisturizer, which seems to be selling really well. But the Squalane and Amiga Repair Cream, priced at $63 or £46 for 50 milliliters, appears to be the more highly rated product. So it has been a tough one to pin down, and I think AI is probably picking up on a lot of chatter and positive feedback around a few similar products from the Squalane-based range, which also include uh, the Squalane and Peptide Eye Gel, another popular product. And it does go to show that the AI-based chat services are a work in progress and can't yet be relied upon to replace human researchers. Biosense is another company that has set out its stall as a sustainable beauty product range, but it was bought recently by THG from its former owners, Amaris, who had filed for bankruptcy. And squalene has become another really popular ingredient for skin hydration and balance, again, by mimicking your skin's natural oils while being an antioxidant too. AI says, This hydrating moisturizer contains squalane, a naturally occurring oil that mimics the skin's natural sebum, and peptides, which help to plump and firm the skin. It is formulated with hyaluronic acid to provide additional hydration. It is suitable for all skin types, including dry, aging, and combination skin. And the Omega Repair Cream is among the highest rated products with a 4.6 star rating on Space NK and over 2,700 reviews. And the squalling based products are frequently featured in the best of lists by beauty bloggers and reviewers. And Biosense ranks highly on Reddit's skincare subreddit for best moisturizers. At seven, we're back on slightly more solid ground with Verst's Dew Point Gel Cream, priced very reasonably at around $19 or £13.50 for 60 milliliters. It's described by AI as, This lightweight gel cream is a great option for those with oily or combination skin. It contains hyaluronic acid to hydrate the skin without leaving a greasy residue. It is also formulated with squalane, a naturally occurring oil that mimics the skin's natural sebum. Verst came up on my radar this year Year when I tried its Guard Up Daily Mineral Sunscreen and loved it because it glides on, is slightly tinted and doesn't leave a cast and didn't leave my skin feeling oily or sticky. So I was really impressed by it. 
And AI also says that it has a 4.6 star rating on Amazon with over 1,500 reviews and it's the winner of multiple beauty awards for best gel moisturizer and it's ranked as one of the best budget-friendly moisturizers on Reddit's skincare subreddit. At number six, we have CeraVe's moisturizing cream. Now, there's not much more that needs to be said about CeraVe because it's a skincare giant. And I used the moisturizer for many years and it's one of the best value, higher performers out there, priced at just 16 pounds or $22 for 454 grams. AI says, this rich and creamy moisturizer is a favorite among dermatologists for its ability to soothe and protect the skin. It contains ceramides, essential lipids that help to maintain the skin's natural barrier function. It is suitable for all skin types, including dry, sensitive, and even oily skin. It has a 4.6 star rating on Ulta with over 17,000 reviews, 4.8 stars on Amazon with over 127,000 reviews and 100,000 sold in the last month alone. So I'm kind of surprised AI didn't rank this first, but then it is looking across multiple factors over the years, including award wins and environmental credentials too. Uh, this moisturizer is also frequently recommended by dermatologists for its ability to soothe and protect the skin, and it's ranked as one of the most popular moisturizers on the Reddit skincare subreddit. At five, it's Cosrx's Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence, priced around £28 or $38 for 100 milliliters. Now, this Korean brand have been hugely successful with their social media activity and have become a global skincare giant. My 19-year-old niece has asked me to get this product for her Christmas, so that's a sign that the social media marketing is working. And my husband actually bought uh, this serum during the summer, which I tried a few times and then gave up on because I didn't like its slimy mucin feel. And um, I did find it a bit sticky on my skin. And I'm also not sure if I like the idea in general of using snails like this. Now, Cosrix does say the snails are placed over a mesh in a dark and quiet room for about 30 minutes at a time and left to freely roam the net, leaving mucin in their trails. And they add that throughout, there's no external process applied to the snails or the mesh to force mucin production. Of this essence, AI says, this lightweight essence is a popular choice for hydrating and calming the skin. It contains snail mucin, which is known for its ability to reduce inflammation and promote skin regeneration. It is suitable for all skin types, including dry, sensitive, and acne-prone skin. It has a four-point star rating on Amazon with over 5,800 reviews, and it's frequently recommended by dermatologists and ranked as one of the most popular essences. At four, it's the Ordinary's Glycolic Acid Toning Solution at 7%, and it's priced around uh, just $16 for 240 milliliters or £11.50. And it won't surprise any of us to see this brand on the list. It has been stratospheric in its growth in the last decade, thanks to it making good quality skincare actives available at low prices. AI says, this lightweight toner is a must have for exfoliating and brightening the skin. It contains glycolic acid, a type of alpha hydroxy acid, AHA, which helps to remove dead skin cells and reveal a brighter, more even toned complexion. It is suitable for all skin types, including normal, oily, and mature skin. It has a 4.3 star rating on Sephora with three and a half thousand reviews and Amazon customers gave it 4.5 stars. It's recommended widely by dermatologists for its ability to exfoliate and brighten the skin and it's frequently featured in the best of lists by beauty bloggers and reviewers. And The Ordinary also takes third place with its niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1% serum priced at just £9 or $11 for 60 milliliters. AI says, This budget-friendly serum is a staple in many skincare routines thanks to its effectiveness in reducing the appearance of blemishes, controlling oil production, and improving skin texture. It contains niacinamide, a form of vitamin B3, which has been shown to have anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. It is suitable for all skin types, including oily, acne-prone, and sensitive skin. With a four-star rating on Sephora, but with over 7,000 reviews and 4.6 stars on Amazon across over 10,000 reviews. And there are multiple listings of it on Amazon as well. It's frequently recommended by dermatologists and ranked as one of the most popular serums on Reddit's skincare subreddit. At number two, it's Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. And if that's not a name that sets high expectations, I don't know what is. 
And it's a brand that is going from strength to strength with a 38% increase in turnover in 2022 with particularly strong growth in the UK market. And its Magic Cream Airbrush Flawless Finish and Pillow Top products were among the biggest drivers of sales. Now, the Magic Cream costs $100 or £80 for just 50 milliliters. ouch, but it does cheaper refills at £69 or $90 for the same amount. And AI says, This cult favorite moisturizer is packed with hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, and botanical extracts to hydrate, plump, and revitalize the skin. It is known for its ability to instantly blur fine lines and wrinkles, giving the skin a youthful, radiant glow. It is suitable for all skin types, including dry, mature, and combination skin with a 4.3 star rating on Sephora and over 4,000 reviews. And it's consistently featured in best of lists by beauty bloggers and reviewers. And it has the refill availability. And finally, at number one, it is a bit of a surprise, but a product that I actually love, and that's Elemis's Cleansing Balm. This year, I've switched to cleansing balms instead of face washes, which were becoming a bit drying at my age. And I do highly rate the Elemis Balm because it's everything AI describes it as here. But at $68 or £48 for 100 grams, though you can often find it cheaper, it is on the pricier side. AI says, This luxurious cleansing balm gently melts away makeup and impurities without stripping away the skin's natural moisture. It contains a blend of nourishing oils and botanicals to leave the skin feeling soft, hydrated, and refreshed. It is suitable for all skin types, including dry, sensitive, and acne-prone skin. It has a 4.5 star rating on Amazon with over 13,000 reviews and it's frequently recommended by dermatologists and is a winner of multiple beauty awards for best cleansing balm. And I think it's probably the number of award wins and expert recommendations that have tipped it for this product. So there we have it. That's the top 10 most popular skincare products according to AI based on its unique set of criteria, but still giving us a very interesting list indeed. So what do you make of this list? Are any of your favorites on it? Let me know in the comments and don't forget you'll find more advice and information around skincare on my website honest.scott. And if you enjoyed this video then remember to click subscribe for more and by hitting the like button you also help this video reach more people. And thank you so much for your support this year. I cannot tell you how much it has meant to me and I can't wait to bring you more interviews with brilliant experts and educational and inspiring content in 2024. For now, have fun, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.